What's good, y'all? It's King T's. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And I know it's been a while since y'all heard me say that, but now that free agency is here, that marks the start of a new season. Well, I guess the draft will really be the start of a new season, but there's not much content for me to do with the draft. But before I start this story, I do want to say thank you to those of you who reached out on Snapchat and Instagram the last few weeks and made sure I was okay. I really appreciated that. But now that free agency is here, we are officially back and as rick ross said so i jfk joined forces with the kings and we ate all day and maybe the most unexpected transaction of the offseason former clipper montrez harrell is now a laker but it really shouldn't it maybe shouldn't be that shocking considering montrez is signed to clutch and lebron for years has been a mentor to him player relationships is something that I don't think people consider enough when they can, when they think about where players may go in free agency. Now, Montrez signed a, a two-year, $19 million deal with the Lakers. I believe the second year is a player option. The significant upgrades the Lakers have been able to make. Rob Palenka, this man should be facing federal charges. I'm not sure what for, but this couldn't have been legal. The Lakers changed Rondo, Danny Green, and Dwight Howard until the runner-up for six-man, Dennis Schroeder, Wesley Matthews, and the sixth man of the year, Montrezl Harrell. The Lakers got more versatile offensively. They got younger. They got more athletic. They got more depth. They just got better across the board overall. Now, they did take a slight step back defensively, but they took such a significant step forward offensively that it really doesn't matter. They're still a great defensive team. But after the announcement of Trez to L.A., it was revealed that the Clippers players, they were legitimately shocked by that transaction. They had no, they, they, they did not see that coming. And one of them took to Twitter to voice that. Now, right after finding out about Trez to LA, but just not his LA, Patrick Beverly went on Twitter and he said, what? With a mad cursing emoji and a hand in the face emoji. Now, he then followed that right up, though, by saying, for real, for real, happy for him, though. Which, of course, we all know that's not true. But I do understand the Clippers and Patrick Beverly frustration. I get it. But as Patrick Beverly said to Jared Dudley, we don't want to hear that. Check ball. I cannot wait to see the Clippers and Lakers play. I can't wait to see Marcus Morris or Patrick Beverly get switched on to Montrezl Harrell and try to slap his armpits. I just can't wait to see it. But I will say, the Lakers right now definitely have the best team in basketball and they just won what you guys think about this and definitely subscribe